following a Seattle City Council Committee's approval of $75 million per year tax on large employers Friday, supporters of the controversial proposal gathered Saturday, marking the latest demonstration surrounding the so-called head tax in recent days. Following a Seattle City Council Committee's approval of $75 million per year tax on large employers Friday, supporters of the controversial proposal marched from Capitol Hill to the Amazon Spheres on Saturday, marking the latest in a series of demonstrations. The so-called head tax would apply to employers grossing at least $20 million a year, such as Amazon, and generate money for homelessness services and affordable housing. Demonstrators Saturday cheered for messages against capitalism and Amazon, including, from City Council member Kashama Sawant, who organized the event, and waved signs with phrases such as, tax the rich, house the homeless. Some chanted, no Bezos Durkin deal, referring to Amazon CEO Jeff Bezos. A few wore t-shirts supporting the Socialist Alternative Party, which includes Sawant as a member. Besides Sawant, council members Lisa Herbold, M. Lorena Gonzalez, Michael Bryan and Teresa Mosquita support the $75 million per year plan, which equates to about $500 per employee. Mayor Jenny Durkin had proposed a smaller tax package Thursday night, hoping to gain support from company leaders and construction unions opposed to the larger tax. A split council rejected that idea Friday. The full council could vote as early as Monday. A new law needs five votes to pass and six to override a veto from Durkin. The mayor has signaled she would veto the current proposal.